Welcome back to Kingdom Welcome Hearts. Back to Kingdom Hearts. Jack, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? We're in Agrabah. Would you say hmm. um, that and the keyhole. this is a place of wonder? Uh, sure. I'm certain we'll find it soon it's enough. Jaffer. Would you say this is a dazzling place hmm. that I never knew? Wait, shut the fuck up. Gilbert Gottfried is talking. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love him. Did you try the castle? I'm so glad that Gilbert, they actually got Gilbert Godfrey for that. Oh, he's great. He doesn't have a whole lot of lines in this game, but the, the fact that they got him at all is just amazing. Yeah. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? With her or without her? Surely this world will be ours when we find the key. Oh no, he's got flappy mouth too. Yep. We need all oh, they all do. Of heart Except for the final door. Iago, because they kind of can't Any make a flappy yeah. mouth animation without fucking well, bird. The they could. They just refuse to, because they're cowards. Her. Gotta love his teeth Princess. beneath his beak. And bring her to yep. Me. And there he goes. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The heartless consume the careless. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you heard her. Is touching, but hardly necessary. Are you suggesting me to not join the dark side? <gasps> oh my god. It's, Chat. it's Yasmin. Yasmin that was, was easy. eavesdropping the entire time. How convenient. She was a watermelon the entire time. Anyway, welcome to Agrabo. We've got a few new enemies uh, in this world coming up. First and foremost are the bandits, which uh, are basically the stand-ins for the soldiers in this world. Um, they use a sword. They like to spin towards you uh, vertically. Like, they'll, like, flip towards you with their uh, sword. Um Me the areas in this half of the world are fairly enclosed, so it can be a Dang little it. tricky to navigate. Um, oh yeah, I would probably re-equip Sonic Blade if you haven't already. Sonic Boom! Uh, so yeah, there's um surprisingly small enclosed areas though for this one. This is the room where you will want to check out first and foremost though because there's some treasure in here. There's uh, a trinity and there's a save point. Yay. I'm gonna make a new save. I think. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Yay. We did it. Yay. We saved the game. Huzzah. We did it, Patrick. We saved the city. The the save file is literally on fire. <laughs> oh okay. man, that area that Jafar and Maleficent were in is all blocked off. How are we gonna get over there? Oh no. What, what can if we, we just okay. smash through with Sonic Speed? Let's summon seven I'm interrupting now to mention that the battle music slaps. Yeah. The music, the battle music uh, that they do for this game is great. The Kingdom Hearts Rah. music as a whole is just great. Because, like, they'll do, um... It's fucking Simba. Yep. They'll take a world and they'll, like, take, they'll have music that's, like, from the actual property. But then for the battle music, they'll have like this really cool remix that sounds almost as if it was a part of the soundtrack of that property it came from all along. Yoko Shimomura is just a musical genius. Lenin, oh yeah, you can deflect their swords. Lennon, you have to agree because she did the music for Xenoblade. Huh? Oh, um... Exactly. She's a musical genius. If I don't say anything, then... I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> but if you don't agree, then you're implying that you think the music of Xenoblade sucks. Yeah, Landon. Once again, if I don't say anything, 
then you don't know my opinion. True. That car oh no! That carpet is really loud. The carpet was stuck, but we saved it. Ah, him. perfect. Now we can go. Oh, never mind. I'm off There's to be. Point I'm off to be the unlockable board in Sonic Riders. Oh god. Okay. Bye. Oh no. We already LP'd that, so you can't so... do that. Click here to watch the Sonic Riders LP. Oh my yeah. god. Are we Click are on we the top really... link up there. Are we you can really? Watch... You can watch through the entire Sonic. You know, while you while you're clicking on stuff, why don't you like Jasmine? Guys, Jasmine, what the fuck are you doing? And subscribe. Ring the bell for no more notifications. Why are you just sitting there behind some boxes in a corner? Well, sh so, you know, I think the answer is uh, a thrilling chase, a wondrous place. Where the fuck? Me. Where the fuck is anyone else in Agrabah right now? <gasps> There's someone else. It's Jaffer. <laughs> it's Jaffer. It's Jaffer. I don't know why I thought that was so funny. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he's a dog, and that one's <laughs> Jasmine, a dog. run! She starts slowly walking away. Rats. We're rats. We're the rats. So yeah, this um, this world is handled a little differently than the Tarzan world. Um, this world is going to consist of quite a bit of trying to follow Jafar around and keep up with him because he's just kind of moving around everywhere and he's a bad guy and we have to make sure he doesn't do bad stuff. Do we know he's a bad guy? I mean, he, I know he called us little rats and that was factually incorrect because once again dog duck yeah and kingdom Spike heart he, 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 kingdom heart <laughs> that's just that's kingdom. just Sora's race now he's dog. just a kingdom heart dog duck yeah. kingdom heart he is the kingdom heart god damn it shadow eh. I backed him into a corner uh, there'll be different gates bully. that we can that we can unlock uh, using our key. We'll unlock that gate later. That's a spitter. This is Crater. another entrance to Aladdin's house, which might want to keep up with your healing by using the save points because it's not hard to get over to the save points and i just lost my chance at one of the treasure chests kind of hard to get Ooh. to that one over there though without a high jump ability or something similar we can get later so i kind of usually leave that one alone anyway on a regular playthrough until i can come back later for it more easily trader what if i tell you, I could show you a whole new world. And if it wasn't on my obvious, fucking lap. there's literally nothing else to do here except for go follow the carpet, because the carpet wants us to go to the desert. And I forgot I left this in. Whoops. Oh, so we're going to talk about sandwiches again. So anyway, oh. for dinner tonight, I had a smoked brisket from Arby's, <laughs> and it was fucking delicious. Oh, I had Luckily, a... <laughs> I had a... Uh, I had Penn Station for lunch, and I had a pizza sub. It had a Ooh. lot of pepperoni on it. Nice. But it was good. That's uh, Yeah, no, that, that honestly sounds great. Luckily, it doesn't take as long for me to move as it does the last time. Keep, the last time. keep in the sandwich conversation, you coward. <laughs> okay, fine. It's less, <laughs> it's less effort that way. Yay. So, normally the desert area is not really actually walked through at all, but uh, the carpet gives you a chance to turn back if you need to, in case you need to grind or anything like that. Uh, going with the carpet, though... Oh no, Aladdin's in trouble! Cool, we'll just make um, a new oh character no. for the, the Aladdin franchise. Um, his name is... 
Bladden. Uh, Bladden? Bladden. He looks exactly like Aladdin, but he has a mustache. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, these guys can drop Proterra Chains, which is pretty useful at this point in the game because we haven't really gotten easy access to anything above a first level accessory. So... Take a yeah, shot drop... every time they say, come on. Gorsh! I like how he just casually just gets up. You know, he didn't say I wish, so... Disappointingly, not Robin Williams, but... No. Dan Castellaneta is pretty good. He just sounds a little bit like Homer Simpson. Thanks, That's Dora. fine. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. The fuck is that? Found that oh. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon. Please, with... kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only genie of the lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp, and have your dearest wishes granted. This winner is Aladdin. Congrats. You did it. Good job. I'm a rush. Patience, my fine. Fellow. No, Donald. You can't. No, I'm gonna stop there. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and steal it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. Once again, he did not say I wish. So he has two left. So, master, what do you have for wish number two? This. <laughs> How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! What money, royalty, fame? Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred candles loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less, or your meal free. I, I would like a free hey, meal. Even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> if he doesn't okay. deliver it in time, does that mean the frish, the, the wish is free? Hold until we reach Agrabah. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure the wish was free regardless. But I mean, it doesn't count towards his number total. But she's a princess. Oh, well, um, no, it still counts. Shitty coupon. Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. Oh, that's right. Plot. Oh, yeah. The word, yeah. You should probably, probably do that. Instead of Aladdin, you should probably take care of that. I did not realize that Dan Castellaneta is actually the, the voice of Homer Simpson. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why he sounds that's, has been a since little Homer Simpson. Has been since that's day one. Cool. He, they got Homer Simpson's voice actor to well, voice Genie. Well, he was already the uh, the voice of the Genie in like the Aladdin Genie outside of the the, the, the first mo the first movie. Oh, the first movie. Yeah, like he it, everything beyond the first movie is Dan Castellaneta. I'm lucky to see the yeah because uh, Disney did shitty things. What if I use my last when are they to since, free from when are they not doing shitty think? things? I mean specifically uh, in regards to Genie the role of Genie. After we help Jasmine. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we can have uh, Aladdin as our ally now. He um he's pretty good. I um, I have him replacing Donald for now, but I would probably recommend that over the course of the game, depending on how, what a character in a world specializes in, like the guest party members, I would probably recommend that you um, sub out the corresponding character. So like if there's a character that's better with magic, unless you really need to double down on magic, probably take out Donald. Um, and if you have a physical character like Aladdin, probably, uh, swap, um, swap, uh, Goofy out for Aladdin so that you can keep it a decent variation of, between your team members. 
uh, Aladdin does come with uh, an ability where he like will like kind of slash his sword a bunch in front of him, and that was him saying "Here I come," which is not come on, but it's close. Come on, on come. We gotta go up this way. God damn it, I want that treasure chest, but I can't have it, because there's enemies. Fuck that... F fuck this guy. Yeah, those are pot spiders. Pot spiders have a... as well as the, uh... uh barrel spiders that are related to them. Um, they have a 1% chance of dropping mithril shards. Mithril shards can be fairly hard to get otherwise. Um, there is a trick that will allow you to get them much, much easier, which I did not take advantage of until literally the last second. But, uh, they'll be your first chance to get that item, and you might want to take a little bit of time to kind of beat up the enemies here, level up a little bit. I don't spend too much time on screen fighting, uh, through more than I need to, but... Definitely, like, beat some of these enemies up so you can get some, uh, synthesis materials because we are going to actually be able to unlock the synthesis shop fairly soon. Hey, it's Thundershark. Yeah. There's a good video I watched one time about Robin Williams, uh, and the genie roll, and I cannot find it. What was it about, specifically? Like, specifically, like, uh, how he did not want, uh, them to use, like, him, the, his fame, uh, to promote, uh, like, the video, or, like, the movie when it was coming out. And they did. And they did right. it anyway. Yeah. And that's what caused, like, a huge rift, uh, with Robin Williams and Disney. Gotcha. Yeah. Which is why he doesn't, you know, he doesn't voice the, the role at any time afterward. I don't blame him. I mean, they shouldn't have needed to even bother to, like, be like, oh, it has Robin Williams in it. It's like, if you live... Because, like... The... I know there's, like, laws or rules or whatever where, like, you have to credit, like, um, roles, but, like, you don't have to, like, inflate it way beyond like what it needs to be if you literally were just did like a small list of like oh these are the cast members of the character voiceovers like you wouldn't have had to be like robin williams is genie like yeah just just, just put his name in the trailer with whoever's voicing aladdin and jasmine and jafar and just just leave it at that you don't have to like make it a big scene, also but... gilford god godfrey yep if you don't have his name, just yeah, make just point. put put Gilbert Gottfried's name at top billing. Yeah, really. Robin, who? We need. Never heard we of need. Him. We need a movie set in the Aladdin universe that stars Iago and only Iago, and only if he's voiced by Gilbert Gottfried for it. I'd watch it. Just the entire adventure is Iago. Just monologuing actually, to himself. Actually, that would be kind of cool if it was, like, Iago having a dilemma of what he's going to do with himself. Now that, like, everything is just kind of chill and calm. And then he has to go on an adventure, and maybe he meets, like, a ladybird or something. I don't know. Uh, he, like, teams up with uh, the magic carpet. Yes! I who has that. no voice... <laughs> Mine, no, so. no voice at all. Yeah, so it's perfect. They pull that stupid shit that they always do in movies and cartoons and stuff where, like, something that doesn't have voice acting will, like, the other voice, some, like, a character that does have a voice will be like, what's that? And they'll basically interpret all of their silence for them out loud. Yes. Perfect. Um, oh yeah, if it wasn't obvious, because I didn't mention it before... The, um, the doorways will rotate, like, what's blocked and what's not blocked over the course of the world. 
because they really want you to go certain direction. Uh, down here, which literally as soon as you step off the platform, Setting you are locked into this part. We will meet up with Aren't Jafar. You, boy? Back to your hole, street rat. I will not allow you to trouble the princess. Jasmine's anymore. like, Jesus Christ, Jasmine. what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Alas. Wait, they've already met. Genie, help Jasmine, please. One wish left. You're making this really easy, you know? <laughs> so sorry, boy. I Why didn't you just wish to kill Jafar? Oh no. I'm sorry, El. <laughs> he didn't run it. Bullshit. And now, I bid you all farewell. Attack. Well, fuck. So, we have a mini boss of sorts. Uh, this is the Hot Centipede. There's a head, a tail, and then several pots that make up the um, that make up the body. I would probably just focus on the head because the head is where most of the HP is. It doesn't have a whole lot of health. It doesn't even have as much health as the uh, as the last boss had. Uh, he can do decent damage, and because of the fact that you're in such an enclosed space, it's kind of hard to dodge. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Um, there'll be moments where the tail and the head can kind of deflect your attacks, so you might need to equip the counterattack ability so you have a better chance of breaking through that. I'm gonna summon Simba, because fuck it. Go, go, Gadget, Simba. Um, if go, you go, Gadget, hit... cameo. <laughs> if you hit the, um the pot spiders that form the body it'll you can get rid of them but he will get new ones he can generate i think he'll have like three at a time where'd he go oh there he is yeah he's all the way back here he can like run back and forth between this spot and then the other room because they have it interconnected for this fight. Which is kind of unique because this is the only point in the world where these two aren't considered separate areas and are just considered one area. We did it. Oh, good. Oh. We got the Ray of Light, which is a very good equipment. Zoom height. To the desert. Come on, let's move. And we are going to pursue Jafar in the desert next time.